I think that there's so much hope here. You know, uh, you know, Houston has been through a lot. It seems like uh, this big melting pot that is the most diverse in the country, led by a man of faith with Sylvester Turner, that we all come together when the going gets tough, and we see, we see these things uh, when we have these horrible things happen uh, as an opportunity. And I think that the Floyd family, I don't want to speak for them, but what they're seeing here is that his, their son didn't die, their brother didn't die, their father didn't die, their uncle didn't die, their cousin and friend didn't die in vain. This is a watershed moment, and uh, we're proud of the Houston Police Department to be part of it and to be here to keep everyone safe, lift up the family. But this is a hopeful crowd that you see out here, and we should all celebrate that. A lot of riots happen around the country, but it seemed that to have 70,000 people marching for a purpose and with the injustices that we saw, yeah. at the same time, it was many of the community rallied together to say, in the di most diverse city in America, that this is a time to bring people together. Hi, right, man, this is Houston. We're Houston strong. We know that a community that perseveres is a community that triumphs. We know that uh, we're a community of faith, and we know that this is not just in the flesh, it's also spiritual, and that's why our community is in prayer, and we're lifting the family up with prayer, not with bricks and fires and rocks. We're, we know that we want to be constructive, not destructive. And at the end of the day, what we know is that to change the world, it starts with one person and one heart at a time, and it starts with one vote at a time. So we're really excited for the family that uh, the community is showing them that, that, again, the death was not in vain. Hey, everyone. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And let us know what you think about today's topic right there in the comments.